I know some of you got exams. Put your hand up if you got exams during Ramadan. Put your hands. I'm going to tell you something powerful now, inshallah ta'ala, okay? Do not think that you're at a disadvantage because you're fasting. Rather, the fasting is going to give you more strength in the month of Ramadan. And I'll tell you why. You see, Fatima radiallahu ta'ala anha, one day she came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa because her hands were becoming very weak and destroyed because of all the hard work that she was doing with her hands. She came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and she asked for some help. She said, can I have some help? Because my hands are becoming destroyed. And the Prophet said, rather, I'll give you something better. He said, before you go to sleep, say subhanallah 33 times, say alhamdulillah 33 times, and say Allahu Akbar 33 times. He said, say this before you go to sleep. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Before you go to sleep. Did Fatima radiallahu anha ask for a physical solution to her physical problem? Her hands were becoming destroyed and weak. But what the Prophet gave her from the outside, does it seem like he gave her a physical solution? No, from the outside, it seems he, like he just told her basically, you know, just be patient and just worship Allah, right? But then the ulama says something powerful. It can never be that you came to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and you asked him for a solution to your problem, except that he gave you the answer to your problem. So then they said it has to be that when the Prophet told her to do this tasbih, that it would give her hands strength. Doing the tasbih and the tahmeed and the takbir, doing this, actually gives you physical strength. And I give you more evidence. In the Quran, when Allah was talking about the people of Ad, to whom Hud alayhi salam was sent, Allah said, do istighfar. Say astaghfirullah. Allah, I seek forgiveness from you. Allah said, I will increase you. Allah will increase you in strength upon strength. So you will get more strength by saying astaghfirullah. Again, clear cut proof and evidence that doing dhikr on the tongue, reading Allah's name and remembrances and mentioning them on your tongue, will give you physical strength in your body. And disobeying Allah actually weakens the body. One time the Prophet Sallallahu he saw a man and he had a ta'weez, a talisman, a medallion. They think that it, it, it would, it would ward, ward away a sickness. So the Prophet said, Inzi'ha, take it off. La tazeeduka illa wahna. It will not increase you in ex anything except weakness. Why? Because you're doing shirk, you're wearing something. This is shirk, this is disbelief in Allah. Minus shirk, only Allah can protect you from harm and evil. But you're wearing this thinking it will help you. Rather, it will not do anything except increase you in more weakness. How will it increase you in weakness? Because you're disobeying Allah. So all of these evidences show you when you sin, your physical body becomes weak. When you obey Allah, specifically by doing dhikr and reading the dhikr, your body becomes physically strong. It becomes physically strong. Ibn Taymiyyah ta'ala was a warrior. The Mongols, they came and they ransacked the Muslims. They spilled their blood all the way from Khurasan all the way up to Iraq. When they came to Iraq, they spilled all of their blood, they came to Damascus. When they came to Damascus, Ibn Taymiyyah gathered an army and he went in and he ran havoc in the ranks of the Mongols. And he was a formidable foe on the battlefield. But he wasn't a very built man. He wasn't a bodybuilder built like a tank. What did he do? After every Fajr, he would sit in the morning and do dhikr. He would remember Allah. His student Ibn Al-Qayyim would come and say, Shaykh, Shaykh, breakfast is ready, come eat. He would say, leave me for this. Because if I do not do this right here, my body becomes weak. He said, this is my breakfast. So brothers, sisters, if you're worried about exams, do not think that the lack of food will make you weak. Rather, increase in your dhikr, increase in reading Quran, it will make you strong.